Hey guys, so in our last Hmong Marketplace vlog, a lot of you guys recommended us coming to Hmong Village. So here we are. We didn't know this existed. We thought, honestly, it was kind of the same thing. Let's see if there's a difference and find, hopefully find some good food. smokiness on the outside a little bit burnt edges at the end or on the outer skin inside super juicy like she's crazy like, I don't know if you guys can probably see that slow-mo of me just squishing it and all the juices coming out awesome and it's super tender too I don't even know how to cook this but with the fish sauce on side just like home mm -hmm. all right so we just grabbed some raw lop from Monk's kitchen you heard me right, it's raw. Straight raw beef, you know, and if you guys ever had a lot before, a bunch of vegetables and some type of meat that's in there, pork, beef, chicken, whatever it may be. But all right, so let me just squeeze this lime first because it comes with some lime. Before we take a bite. I think that should be good. Okay, take a little bite. It looks kind of intimidating, but let's see what it tastes like. Not bad. It's right, so pretty good overall. It's a little spicy though, for, so for those that don't like spice, I don't recommend this for y'all because y'all gonna probably need some milk. Y'all gonna need some milk. But um, really good. Lots of pepper in there. Um, what I found though, if you take a little cucumber, for those that don't like cucumbers, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. But if you take a little cucumber, take a little bite with that with this, it kind of levels out the flavor. Cause this, I feel like the meat and the pepper and whatever they put in there, Kind of intense but when you take this it kind of cools it down so yeah really good we're gonna put off the raw lot to the side but it's highly recommended for people that love spicy food and raw food but anyways we're on to the next one and we got some what is it pork on a stick so there's two different kinds there's one the, the one we got is sweet they got some sweet sauce on there there's another one that's no sauce at all and it's a little more salty so it's for like the plain Jane type of people. Type of people. But anyways, we're gonna give this a try and see if it's good. Oh, this one's good. Oh, mm -mm. so good. Nice and sweet, juicy, tender. A little crisp on the outside too. I love it. Highly recommended for those that love any type of food on a stick. Good on the go. Everything's good on the stick. But uh, anyways, we're gonna finish this and probably find some more else, find some other food to eat. If there's anything else that interests us, otherwise we're just gonna walk around and check this place out, it's huge. Jumbo buns and the crazy steak. The jumbo buns are 
probably like the size of my head. And they're closed, of course, for the day that we come, but we will be back. We will definitely be back. Probably do what we found. And little drink spot, and I got the Nab Fam special tricolor dessert. Give it a go. With these, you mix it up. And it's a bunch of like jellies and maybe fruits inside. I don't know. It looks good though and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk, the base. Using some palm sugar syrup on the bottom to make it sweet. There's a bunch of like fruit jellies inside. So good, so refreshing. It's like my childhood. We always had this on summer days. So nice. And then P got coconut boba. I'm gonna try it for him. Ooh. Is it good? Wow. It's really light and refreshing. It tastes like coconut milk or like coconut cream. Really good. Really light. And I like that it's like nothing but boba. <laughs> Most time, whenever you get boba at like little dinky spots, it's like all boba and then a little bit of the drink. But this one's barely, and that's like P's preferred ratio. Yeah. Pretty much. It's good though. But yeah, we're gonna kill this and then continue to walk around and discover what's here. Sir, what are you doing? Uh, I found me a gold mine. <laughs> so this is where all the Pokemon cards are. Apparently, you like been looking what? For. What is this? Yeah. And and, here and over, here. <laughs> over here and over here. Oh He's about to live here. So, all right, babe. Stay here. You can go do whatever you want. Okay. Bye. <laughs> that for that's cute <laughs> oh my goodness so you guys this is what i have to deal with that's the only one more i need to get them oh my god <laughs> oh no way <laughs> where's where's ness what's her name it's coming to that's good cool. where is she at she's coming to me tomorrow through amazon oh through amazon <laughs> if you guys don't know she loves demon slayer Look, there's a shirt up there. Sweater. Oh my god. One punch man, demon player, hoodie up there. So we stopped by my kitchen food stall and we got the red kapoon. Um, we were trying to get it at another stall, but it sold out. Must be good. But we went a couple of stalls down and they had it, so let's try it. Looks really good. It's raining outside, so it's a perfect weather for some warm noodle soup. And I love my noodles. <laughs> get a good mix. I'm not going to add anything yet. Try the, try the broth by itself. I taste a lot of bamboo, but I'm not mad about that. It's very like refreshing taste. Noodles and veggies. Very light, which I love. Very like not too strong of like any curry flavors, which it looks like it's probably overpowering with curry flavors, but it's not. It tastes a lot. It tastes kind of like bamboo juice. If you guys have the actual bamboo vegetables, bamboo vegetable, <laughs> bamboo fruits, um, but it tastes strongly like the, the bamboo, like liquid, I guess. And there is a bamboo shoot inside of here. So there's like nice shredded cabbage, some cilantro, green onions, and what else in there it's really good it's just simple homey noodles I'm not too mad about it i don't even think i need to eat, add anything it might just add some sriracha just for some spice but very good this is hitting the spot on this rainy cold day 
we also got some papaya salad. Just because we can never pass up. See? A lot of fish sauce. Interface. But I love it. That's good stuff. But we're gonna kill this. Probably not gonna share with teeth. Because I can kill this easy. <laughs> And then on to our next one. So we got some bows. We wanted to get the bigger bows, but <laughs> obviously it's closed. So hopefully these ones will suffice. We just grabbed this from one of the vendors here to add them. We honestly don't know what's in them. So we're gonna check it out. See what we got. Unwrap the gift. Unwrap the gift, that's right. It's still pretty warm, so hopefully it's it's pretty good on the inside. I don't see nothing in the bottom. Alright, let's crack it open. Let's see. And yeah, the filling ain't all that. But let's see if it tastes. Let's see if the taste though, right? Okay? Hmm, not bad. All right, so this is really good. Surprisingly, you know, when I when I opened it, it didn't look that appealing. Hmm. But it's nice and juicy and tender in there. Lots of flavor. And the quail egg that popped out, I put it in my mouth and ate it. First, the flavors in there. So that was good. It's not hot. It's like lukewarm but I guess this will suffice. The, the dough though, it's actually nice and fluffy on the inside and the outside. And it's not like, you know, hard. No, no. Yeah, you don't want no hard buns, you want some soft buns. But we are gonna finish this and see if we can find something else to snack on here. We got uh, something interesting. So it's called sticky fried rice. So uh, it just appealed to me. I wanted to see how they made it and what it's gonna taste like, because sticky, I love sticky rice, and I love this fried rice too. So let's see, how, let's see what this is about. So I noticed that there's some sausages in there. I like that. So let's take a little bite. Mm. Wow, really good. Let me try the sausage too. Let's stick together. Come on, man. Sorry, I'm breaking you apart. Ooh. That's how it's fired. All right, so what I noticed is that the sticky rice really just like a little hint of sweetness to it. I don't know if you guys ever had sticky rice before, but there's always like some hint of sweetness to it for some reason. But that hint of sweetness really hit, made it for me because it reminded me of home, you know, it reminded me of my mom's cooking back in the day. But that sticky rice, fried rice combination of bomb, I love it. And it's just like regular sticky rice that, I mean, the regular fried rice you would have, you know, the onions, carrots, uh, what is it? Some greens and some corn. But that sausage though, that sausage is bomb. Nice and tender, juicy, fat. That's what she said, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Overall, it's a good dish. And just to wash it down with some refreshing sugar cane juice. Oh yeah, y'all like sugar cane? Y'all know, if y'all don't know, I need to get on it. Ooh. Nice and refreshing, they got some like, fresh sugar cane back over there, so I started cutting it up and grinding it in to get that juice. Mm -mm -mm. So I actually went to another stall called My Papaya. I had to get some mango salad. We love our mangoes, and this screams summer in a dish. So you get that salty and sweetness. That should dig right in. We love our mangoes. Get some tomatoes. sauce kind of acting with the sweetness from the mangoes and the fresh tomatoes and also I think they should a little bit of papaya in there. So so good. This is this will hit the spot on a summer day with some barbecue some skewers. This is it. We also have some salt pepper shrimp. Love our salt pepper shrimp. Eat the whole thing. That's the whole point. There's a lightly tempura batter at the outside where it's like barely dip it in. They deep fry it, lightly season it with salt and pepper. It is simple but it's always so good. Eat the whole thing to get that crunch satisfaction out of it. So good. But we're gonna kill all that we can 
and then probably roaming around for the day. But if you guys like this vlog, please like, share, and subscribe. Or if there's any food that we missed here, because there are a couple of stalls that's closed, sadly. Let us know which one we should hit up or what foods we should try next time. See you guys next week. Mmm, I'm gonna bet it's bomb. Woo! This is. Mmm, this is. Mm hmm. <laughs> you know, mmm, gotta get some mouth.